In this video, you will learn to describe the properties of cubes, cuboids, cylinders, pyramids and spheres. You probably recall that we called these 3D shapes or three-dimensional shapes. Looking at a cube, the faces are the ones that we see when we turn the shape around. So this is one of the faces. They're normally flat. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six faces in a cube. What about a cuboid? Is it the same? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's exactly the same because cube and cuboid, they have very similar shapes. The only thing that changes is the length of some of the sides. There we have a pyramid. So the pyramid has one, two, three, four, five faces. So this is a square based pyramid because a triangular based pyramid would have four faces. So this has five faces. What about the cylinder? We can see two of them, one at the bottom and one at the top, and there is one that goes around. So there are three faces in total. Sphere, one that goes around, continues throughout for the whole shape. So there is one face. Edges. What are the edges? Edges are where the two faces meet together. So this is the edge, this is the edge and so on. How many edges does a cube have? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So there are 12 edges. Is it the same for a cuboid? There we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it is the same for a cuboid as well. How about the pyramid? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In a cylinder, we've got one and two circular ones. How about the sphere? As I said, there is one phase that goes around that you can see. So there cannot be two faces meeting together. Therefore, there are zero edges or no edges. And another thing that you might come across is the corners or the vertices. Corners. There is a corner form there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight in a cube. How about a cuboid? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, the same number. In a pyramid, square-based pyramid, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five corners. In a triangular-based pyramid, 
it'd be four of them. Do we have any corners in a cylinder? No, nope, we don't have any corners at all. And there is none in the sphere as well. Like the corners of a room. So zero corners and zero corners. The final thing we'll look at is the base. The base is the face that the shape sits on. So at the moment, this cube is sitting on this face. So that is the base of this cube now. But I could turn this around and then this would be the base. This would be the base. So it's what it's sitting on. And what shape is the base? It is a square because it's got equal sides. So even if I turn it around, this base would still be a square because all of the sides are squares in a cube. So that is the shape that it has, square. The base of a cube is a square. What about the cuboid? As you can see, this is a rectangle. Even if I turn it this way, it'd be a rectangle. So it is a rectangle. But sometimes a cuboid could be made of squares and rectangles. So you've just got to bear that in mind. And square-based pyramid, as the name suggests, is square-based. The base is a square. Triangular base pyramid is a triangle. And when it comes to a cylinder, as you can see, the base is a circle. Even if I turn it this way, that would be a circle. And when it comes to a sphere, obviously the sphere has no base, it's very difficult to have it sitting so there is no base for it.